Hey guys, let's try this again. And would you believe, okay, I'm just going to get comments set up here on my iPad. So you guys, if you've followed me for a while or you've been here for any of my live videos, you know that this dude next door always, st I swear he like has a video in my office and knows exactly when I'm going to do a live or when I'm filming a video and always, always mows his lawn on this side of his property where my office is right next to him because so he starts his lawnmower up like I don't know 20 minutes ago when I was first originally going to do this video he starts his lawnmower up and I'm like fantastic I guess I'm not going to do a live right now so I go up I get the kids a snack I like literally like made popcorn on the stove, like got everybody situated, told everybody I was going to do like, I'm like, I'm going to give this dude time to like mow his lawn on this side of his house. So he'll be done. So I've been out of my office for like 25 minutes. I get down here. I start up my video again and he starts the lawnmower up. So clearly like when I went out of my office and went upstairs, clearly he stopped mowing his lawn. And then now that I'm back down here doing a video, he's mowing his lawn again. Like, he drives me bananas. I swear to you, he knows exactly when I'm going to do this. And I know, like, you guys have commented and been like, yeah, we really can't hear it. And then when I'm, like, playing the video back, I'm like, yeah, you can hear it. But it's just so distracting for me. It's like, literally, he's, like, mowing the lawn like right behind me and I just want to go out there and be like dude really really like I left my office for like over 20 minutes so you could get done with this side of the house and you didn't okay that's my gripe today we're gonna make a card but I want to show you guys some things so we're all stuck at home right and I'm sure like anybody else eating like crazy because they're home and they're stressed. I'm definitely a stress eater. I'm either a stress spender or a stress eater. Like it's, that's how it like manifests. It's like one or the other. So I totally can't stress spend right now, right? Like my business has come to a halt. My husband just got noticed that he could possibly be laid off. He's a tow truck driver. So our state and our county are on lockdown. So if nobody's going anywhere, nobody needs a tow truck driver. So um, we're definitely feeling the stress in this house. And so I can't spend, right? <laughs> I'm trying to not spend. So I'm stress eating. Hey, Elizabeth, Melissa, Debbie, thanks for joining me, Kathy. So I wanted to share with you guys some of my favorite snacks. Let's share some snacks while this dude continues to mow his lawn right behind me. So I love these. These are mm, fairly new brands that I'm trying. This is the Smart Food, Smart 5050, and this is the Sea Salt Popcorn. Sea Salt Popcorn. And then there's this one, Sour Cream and Onion. This one is a really good one. So also the, I think it's ridiculous to buy popcorn like this when you can just make popcorn. Like literally you can like buy the popcorn and like make it and it's like pennies to do that. But um, the flavors are so good. I just can't get over it, right? I just cannot. So the, also the other one that I really like is the Boom Chicka Pop or whatever it's called. I like to get these like when they're on like sale, like super, super sale. I like to do that. So um, I have a couple of these. I have a couple of the sea salt, and then I just have, this is my last bag of the sour cream and onion. They also have the kettle corn, but I have to be really careful with the kettle corn because I'll eat the entire bag in one sitting. Like I cannot stop once I start eating it. So I like these two for like a fun treat. Um, when I just want something different. And then these are my favorite for all the time. So these are, they have the pretzels and the little bread stick things and then the pretzel sticks. And I get these bags. I've found these big family bags at Walmart. So we literally, like my husband, when he went to Walmart, um, last week he ran to Walmart to get a few things. He came home with like four bags of these. And he's like, I just wanted to make sure you had enough. <laughs> 
So I like to have these sometimes if I, when I take a bath, I take really, really hot baths. And sometimes when I get out of them, I get hungry because it's like when you take hot baths like that, or you go into a steam room, it's like running for 30 minutes. And so you get like, I'll get like, um, desperately hungry. And so I'll have a couple of these when I get out of the bath, but I love these. And then I love to eat them when I'm, um, when I am crafting. Um, okay. Yeah. I think we're all eating more than normal. It's like, right. Just it's part of like being home and the stress of being home and, Oh yeah, Melissa, I'm sure like with your, with a cleaning business, like I'm sure you're not, your business is taking a hit too. <laughs> your husband brought home some little Debbie's. <laughs> Those two, right? How about the oatmeal cookies? Um, the soft oatmeal cookies with the like cream filling. Can we get some of those? Okay, so those are my favorite like salty types of snacks. And then something else that I've been drinking recently are these. So if you guys know, you guys have been around long enough to know that my my trigger is Dr. Pepper. And I've been pretty much off Dr. Pepper since November of last year. It took me a long, long time to get off of it. I will have one every now and again, but I was having like two or three a day for probably two years. It was really bad. Um, and so I, I've been off of them since like November and there's no other soda that I will drink like that. Like if I have a Coke, like if there's a day where I'm like, oh, I want a Coke or I want a Pepsi, I'll drink one and that will be it. But if you give me a Dr. Pepper, I will drink a case of a a case of Dr. Pepper in an hour if like if I do not control myself. So um, a friend recommended these and I'm really not about the sparkling water. I don't like it like those La Croze or La Cruz or whatever they're I hate those like they if any of y'all drink them um, kudos because I think they are the the nastiest things I've ever tasted in my life and I've tried I've tried several times to be like I'm totally gonna drink those and I don't know how you people do it like if y'all drink those like I, like I'm sending you something like a huge kudos hey Bridget hey Kimberly oh those are good I don't see those very well yeah I do those are the ones I do see the kind bars hi Linda Hey, Bobby. So um, when she recommended these, I was like, no, I don't like sparkling waters. They're disgusting. They taste so like baking soda-y. Like that's the only word I know. It's like every single sparkling water I've ever had just tastes like a mouthful of baking soda. So she was like, no, you really have to try these. So I tried it and I love them. So this is the pink grapefruit, which is my favorite, but they have tons of flavors. They have like mango melon, not mango melody. That's a stamp color. <laughs> that's a stamp, stamp pad color. That's an ink color. Um, orange mango. They have a black and their flavors are like kind of weird almost like um, orange mango is not too, too weird, but then they have like blackberry grape. And then they have um, coconut, um, coconut lime, or coconut, coconut something. Then they have ginger lime, which I love. I put a splash of that in regular water, and it's so yummy in regular water. So these are really yummy. So if you're like me and you're not fond of the sparkling waters, try these. <laughs> you got the beer a couple days ago and a little bit of wine. I am um I'm actually trying not to drink because I'm I've I'm having some really uh stressful anxiety situations and I try not to drink if I'm having anxiety because I get fearful that I won't know how to stop. Does that make sense? So, um we have a brewery and we're in wine country. That's where we live. And so we definitely, like, we always, my husband gets um, beer from the brewery. He gets it for free because the brewery shares a parking lot with my husband's work. So the brewery gives all the guys at, the, at my husband's work, he, they give them free, like, they can fill up their things for free. 
And so we always have that. And, um, and then I'm part of a wine club, my favorite winery here. And so there's definitely, we have it in the house, but I'm like, I need, because I'm starting to struggle a little bit with all of this. I definitely like need to not drink right now. <laughs> my husband, it was like 10 o'clock in the morning and I texted him yesterday and I was like, I'm struggling today. I'm having a really hard day. My anxiety is really high. I had nightmares last night. I didn't sleep. And he's like, just have a glass of wine. And I'm like, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. Like, and the kids are home. Like, what am I going to do? Like, start drinking at 10 a.m.? Like, isn't that funny? Yeah, we're in deep wine country here. Yes, that's another good point, Renee. Yeah, like, um, for sure. Like, um drinking uh, weakens your immune system. Yeah, that's a really good point too. I'm trying not to drink because I don't know if I would stop. That's my problem. So I wanted to show you guys a project that I worked on. Uh, it's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> that's the truth. <laughs> um, I wanted to show you guys a little project that I put together. This is a scrapbook page um, and it is of everything that's going on. So it's a nine by 12 on this side. And I just have some cards. I used a set of paper from Echo Park. It is the Faith Collection. And then I have a picture I took of the TV and a screenshot. And then a couple cards. And I added that. I'll add my journaling up here in this spot. I just haven't done that yet. And then I paired it with a pocket page. And there's a Project Life card that I downloaded. And then these are just screenshots of different things um, that were that you know are going on. What what is this? Um, the Pentagon, a global map, the White House. So I just did screenshots of that. And then on the back here, I have a couple text messages that we received. We received a text message from our school system that we would be out of school next week. This was about a week ago. Um, and then from our city, um, we live in a very, very small city. We have like five, our population is like literally like 800 people. Um, so we got a text message about that. And then these are some screenshots of emails. I don't know about you guys, but I've been getting hundreds of emails from all these companies that, you know, that I follow. And they're sending out these emails that say, you know, what their business is doing, how they're, you know, moving forward, what the situation is, if store, if their physical stores are closing. So I picked a few of my basically favorite companies that I am in contact with, like probably more often, like UPS, Aaron Condren, Starbucks, and I put those in. And then I just thought this was the funniest meme going around. And um, this is, um, if you guys watched the show House, that's what that's from. And House was a medical show that dealt with like very bizarre medical conditions. And House was this guy that like was super smart and he like figured these cases out. But he was like addicted to pain meds and he was like a jack wagon. Like he was really mean. And um, so it says somebody get this man his pain meds so he can figure this coronavirus out. <laughs> So um, I put that in there because I just thought it was the funniest meme floating around. So I'll put this in my um, Project Life album after I do the journaling. I just thought I would share that. I didn't do a process video for it. I just did it the other day. I just sat down and did um, some of this. And then here's some of the other like screenshots that I got in case you are my document group, my membership group, I've added all of these screenshots um, into that group for people to use so they don't have to go try to hunt to find them. But they're literally just screenshots of things that have come up that I've seen. Um, and so I had printed out a bunch because I wasn't sure what I would use or if I would use a larger um like page protector or whatever. So these I'm just going to throw away now. I don't think there's any reason to keep them. I think that I've documented what I want to document and I'll just throw the rest away. Right? So that is the stuff that's happening around here. I hope that you guys are doing 
well and hanging in there. Um, I'm in California, so our state went on a mandatory lockdown. Um, and then our county has gone on an official mandatory lockdown. And um, we've had the first confirmed case in our county um, happened yesterday. So um, we have been staying inside like, uh, like, well, we've been staying on our property since Friday. So up until Friday, um, we've got about three families here on our little street that have kids. And up until then, um, the kids were playing together and they were playing outside and they were going over to each other's houses and they were coming here and I wasn't terribly concerned. Um, when our county went into lockdown, um, I was like, okay, we need to stay home. We need to stay on our property. We need to stay in front of our house. So it's, um, the kids, they're struggling a, a tiny bit. Um, it's hard, right? So I hope, I know everybody's struggling with that. It's hard to be home and, um, you know, they're getting bored and we're getting ready to like start homeschooling next week. And um, it's just a lot of transition, right? So I hope that you guys are all, um, staying healthy and not going too much insane, right? Um, I'm having a little bit of a hard time like getting into crafty projects. I feel like there's just a lot of noise going on and a lot of things it's changing so rapidly that it's really kind of hard. Um, yesterday, because I was struggling so much, I literally sat and watched the news all day, which was not good for my mental health. And today I'm like, I got up and I'm like, no news today. Like, and I already felt so much better than I did. I feel like you, it's a balance of like tuning in to what's going on so that you know, and you understand what's happening and then checking out so you're not overwhelmed. So I hope everybody is able to do that. So today I thought I would make a card. I'm going to use this paper here. This is the Botanical Prints. And I was planning on creating a mega class that uh, was going to go on sale next month. But with everything that's going on, um, I don't know that I'll be creating that. Um, I feel very strange in this position of having my own business and selling product and and things and then being in this time where clearly um rent and food and bills are definitely a priority so I just feel like I'm a little bit um I feel a little uncomfortable in the position I am in of creating things and putting them out there like normal but like still trying to carry on. Does that make sense? It's so, it's such a, a complicated and weird place to be. So this, I don't know if I'm going to do the mega class now. I had always, I've always been holding on to this product to do this class in April. That was always my plan with this product. Um, it's the botanical prints and it has, um, it's a suite of product. And so you get a stamp set and you get, um, I got, let me find the stamp set. Uh, let me grab the catalog and show you guys. So that was always my plan was to hold on to that product and do that in April. Um, and then this has all happened. And so I got it out today and I was like, well, let's play with this and use some of this because I don't know what will be happening, um, you know, in, in, in the future, you know. So it's this right here. It's botanical prints. My catalog, you can see it's like falling apart. So you get a stamp set. You get dies. You get the paper, the designer paper, the ribbon, the, um, these like, what are these called? Like laser cuts? Let me find the stamp set because I want to use it with this. So it should be right here. Okay. And then let me grab the dies to show you. Because they should be right here as well. And they're not. 
How weird, I don't know where the dies are. I wonder if I stuck them somewhere. Oh, right here. Sometimes I set like all my products together if I have a plan for it. But here's the dies, they have these corners and then the dies here cut out these and then there's some sentiments. So I wanna use the sentiments. Uh, let me see. A fun show to watch is Married at First Sight. It helped me to watch a fun show. Yeah, for sure. Some of the stuff that I've been binge watching is, I mean, you guys, I always binge watch stuff because I'm home all the time. Like being home, this is nothing new for me. I mean, there are weeks that I go without going anywhere other than to the grocery store because I work from home. Um, so being home is actually not, for me, it's no different um, and binge watching stuff and having shows and stuff like that. But it's, I know for a lot of people, um, it is different. And so I've been binge watching The Ranch. So we started watching The Ranch. Um, I have also, if you have Amazon Prime, there's a really cute show on there called Being Erica. And it's kind of a fun, goofy kind of show, but it has a really good storyline and you can really get, um, like kind of caught up in that. The other thing that I've been doing, and this is something that all of us can do that is helpful to um, content creators. I feel like I can't purchase a lot from content creators right now, but what I can do is I can go binge watch their videos. So there's a couple of my favorite YouTube people that I've been binge watching their stuff because that is helpful to them. The watch time on their videos, subscribing to YouTube, um, like to YouTube people is really good. Commenting on their videos, that's all something that we can do that is absolutely free. Um, uh, if you're on Facebook and you're seeing um, like these types of videos, sharing them, liking them, commenting on them, it's all so helpful to us. Hey, Kathy. Um, you put, could put it out there and hope that people make the right choice for their family. I know. I do. I know. I totally know what you're saying, Renee. It's, you know, somebody said that to me today, like not everybody is in that position, but I also, I don't want to come across like a slimy car salesman. Do you know what I mean? Like I care about people and I care about people's family and I don't want it to seem that way. So it's just a very strange place to be like for sure it's a very strange place to be yeah oh thanks Renee I really appreciate that so that's some helpful hints for you guys if you're feeling like how can I support these people especially I see so many people putting out things like you know like sharing um the online classes are sending out a class for free or sending out a PDF for free. Um, please go and like their, their channels and like their Facebook pages and share. Um, that's so helpful and it's so encouraging to us. So I want to make a card. I've chatted and chatted and chatted, you guys. So I'm thinking of going two different ways. Maybe I'll let you guys decide which way to go. Well, maybe three ways. So here's my favorite, you guys know, Bermuda Bay, Bermuda Bay all the way. And then here's Mango Melody, beautiful color. And then here's Basic Black. Oh, I just got a stack of Bla Basic Black cardstock and I just got a paper cut. It's hard to pull that out of there. Okay, so for the card base, this is the side we're gonna use of the designer paper. And then we're gonna use this. So with that in mind, let's just have a vote of what we think the card base should be out of these three colors. Bermuda Bay, Mango Melody, or Basic Black. And we'll see what comes in. You guys tell me. <laughs> right, Renee? We all have time to watch and like and comment now, right? <laughs> hmm. I guess that is for sure. 
So while I'm waiting for comments to come in about what color we're going to use, I'm just going to cut this and I'm going to cut it at four and a quarter by, no, four inches, sorry, four inches by five and a quarter. And to give you guys an idea of what I'll be doing. Mango Melody. Okay, so far I have... Um, this Melissa, it's orange. That's probably what it might not be coming across. So three for mango. I'm going to go with, okay. So that's what we're going to go with. Oh, you guys, I was hoping you would pick Bermuda Bay. Maybe I'll do something with Bermuda Bay too. With this, with these pieces. Okay. So let me set this aside and then let's do mango. Okay. No, no, you're okay, Melissa. It might just not be coming across, but it's orange. It's an orangey color. So let's do it this way. So we'll cut this at five and a half. I was watching somebody's video and they were going on and on about how the camera wasn't picking up the color of this chair. And they're like, I, I swear this chair is navy. It's navy. It's not, it's not coming across navy, but it's navy. And they were going on and on for like a thousand minutes. And I was thinking, it, like, it looks navy. Like, I see that it's navy. I get it. Like, it's navy. But apparently, probably when they were filming, it just didn't look like it was coming across that way. Sometimes I'll think in my videos, I'll think that it's not bright enough. Like looking at my, my um, screen that's filming, it won't look bright enough. And I'll think, oh, this video is really, really dark. But then when I edit the video, it's plenty bright. Like it's, it looks totally fine. So I'm just adding um, some white cardstock in there. And then what I want to do is look how gorgeous that is. Look at how beautiful that is. Okay, let's add this straight down. So this paper has, Stampin' Up's been doing this a lot, I feel like. On one side, there's like this very colorful like background and then the the image is black not this specifically but like the color and the black and white is what they've been doing a lot this is like the background is colored and then the image is black and white but then you turn it over and then it's like it's all black and white and it's just stunning okay so next what i did is i cut out from the stitched from these. These are the stitched so sweetly dies. These are rectangle stitched scalloped. And then there's these images here. Okay. So now we need, we really do need a sentiment. So what we're going to do is I'm going to add, my thought was to add this like this. And then maybe add my sentiment just like this. But I'm feeling like that's going to leave a lot of... I'm feeling like the sentiment would look really pretty like here, like white embossed. If I had like a really big sentiment. Like, so now I got to find a different stamp set. Because this stamp set isn't going to cut it. See, these sentiments are not big enough. Oh, I haven't even put this together. Like, see, that sentiment is so tiny. So that's not going to work for me. Now, I love going back to this. Oh, let's do this one. Sitting by the dock of the bay. Oh, look at this. This is going to be perfect. I love the sentiments in this set. I haven't used this oh, set either. Look at that. Okay. So I want this. This is a super cute set. Look at the sentiments. I'll always 
look up to you no matter how much I've grown. Thank you for making a difference in my life. Here for you. Happy birthday. I love these fonts. Hey, Chris. How are you? Okay. So what I do with my... I don't think I've ever done this on camera. I still trim my sentiments. So these are cling stamps. And what you basically do is put this on here like this. And then this part is sticky. I still trim out my sentiments because these puppies stick like nobody's business. Like when I peel the backing off and I go to stick this on the stamp, I mean, it is going to stick to the stamp like n nothing else in the entire world. And I have found that I'm not great at always getting them, like putting the the sticker on straight and uh, sometimes what I found is that some of the sticker would hang off the stamp and it drove me bananas so I used to always do this when the when it wasn't sticky I always trimmed my stamps so I was like I'm just gonna keep doing that because it allows me to really center my sentiment or image on the actual stamp and then there's no funky plastic sticky thing hanging over the edge does that make sense I like slowed down my speaking as I was cutting I cannot cut and chat at the same time okay so then we'll go like this so then you pull off one side. Now this side is very sticky. And once it sticks down to this part, you're not going to get it back up. Like it's never going to happen. So you really have to like pay attention to what you're doing. Press it down. And then make sure when you fold this over that this part doesn't stick to this part. Because that's another problem. And then peel that up. And then see, I don't have any weird plastic sticker thing hanging over. So let's do a little bit of heat embossing because I feel like that's probably going to be the best. Now, I cannot remember. Let's do it. And do you think let's we'll have to test it. OK, let's do a test. Okay, so I need, here, this is perfect. I feel like our black cardstock does not handle heat embossing well. For some reason, I'm feeling like that's a situation. But I don't know why I'm feeling that way. Okay, so here's a piece of black. And then here's Versamark. Now let's, where's my stamp? Oh, right here. Chris, if you're still on here, this week I did a live and I did not clean my stamps. And you weren't here, you weren't on the live. And I put the stamp back and then like, it wasn't very long later I went to use that stamp and it was a huge problem because I didn't clean it and I totally thought of you. Okay, so there's that. So let's try silver. I feel like silver might be. Ooh, I'm almost out of silver. I didn't, I didn't use the powder thing first, and I should have. Okay, so let's heat set this. So I just have my heat tool.
I'm letting it heat up for a second. Tammy, what do you mean you have so many clean ones and you haven't used them yet? We got to get you crafting, girl. Again, I sort of have things like set aside for when I'm going to use them by month. Oh, that's pretty. Look at how pretty that is. Okay, let's try white and see what would look better. Okay, so let me use this now. Okay, and then Versamark. Hey, Daisy. Okay. So there it is again. And then let's use white. So I use white and this is the wow embossing powder oh this one's a mess even though i well this is just a test i mean it doesn't need to be perfect we're just testing to see Okay, this looks pretty good. The white looks pretty good. Okay, so now you guys tell me which one you think we should do for this card. Do you think the white or do you think the silver? And then I'll have to put this stamp set to get these stamp sets together. Um, I was gifted a Cricut, Cricut Joy, so I've been doing a little now i love my cricut joy i've used it so much hi linda i love my cricut joy it has for sure been a game changer in fact i'm thinking about getting rid of my silhouette altogether and just going back to using the cricut like i'm thinking about like getting a maybe even getting a cricut maker so i can do things bigger than four and a half inches and but getting rid of my silhouette because i've always known the cricut is so much easier to use and now that you can do a lot of your own stuff oh i'm just loving it so tell me guys which one i don't see any comments coming through here silver or white daisy said she loves her maker cricut maker Silver or white? Let me know. I started out with a Cricut many, many years ago, and I loved the Cricut because it was so easy. You just put in a cartridge, and you cut your stuff, and you didn't have to have a computer program, and it was so easy, right? And then, okay, so white. So there's several coming through for white. That's what I was thinking. So, um, but you couldn't use, like, SVGs or, like, and I do a lot of Allie Edwards stuff. And so she has a lot of digital items that I like to use. Okay, so this is going to go here. So that's why I, for a long time, I've used the Silhouette. But now that Cricut has that ability and I've seen how easy it's been with the Cricut Joy, I just... I might be going back to Cricut, you guys. My first love. Okay, so we'll put this. It's hard to see that black on my mat. Okay, so I'm hoping that that's straight. Set that aside. We'll bring this back over. Oh, I almost dumped all that embossing powder. I almost dumped it out. Let's coat that again. Embossing is so fun. So I just want to... It looks pretty good. Okay, so let's heat set this and then we'll put our card together. Oh, I don't think I, st I stamped that very straight. <laughs> Definitely Cricut was my first love. 
for sure. But then I wasn't happy when they moved to like the design studio and how you had to be hooked up to a computer and all that stuff. But it's definitely the design studio is definitely easier than the Cricut Silhouette um, software. That looks good. Okay. So let me just get a wipe out and clean this because I can't stand to have the powder on my surface. Okay. Okay. Now this just needs to dry. <laughs> huh. Sorry, guys. It's still wet. Let me grab a scratch paper. Okay. So here's this, and then here's this, and then I'm just going to... Oops. Take and wipe off. Oh, look at that. I didn't heat that. Oh, dang the bad luck. I didn't, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I didn't heat set. Did everything else get heat set? Everything but the top of that K. Oh, bummer. Well, it doesn't look horrible. Okay, so let's pop this up. So many people have gotten a Cricut Joy. I think it was fantastic that Cricut did that. I think they were smart with it. Okay. Oh no, this has adhesive on it. I never know. My daughter's been in here. Kayla, she yesterday she was in here crafting all day. And it was good for her. She needed to be doing something different. Okay, so hopefully that's straight. And then we'll put this on there. And this will just do flat. And then I feel like, don't you feel like it needs some bling? One thing we can definitely do is add some Wink Estella to the image. Ooh, my Wink Estella is juicy. It's brand new. The shimmer is coming out of it. Okay, but then don't you think it needs some bling? Maybe some sequins? Let me see if I have any like orangish, yellowish sequins. So I have this, but it, that's too pink. This. Oh, is that too bright? These are definitely too orange. I have these like copper ones. Maybe let's let's see how these look. These might work. Everything needs bling. I'm with you. Oh, I think they're pretty on the 
like on this part. I don't know that they're very pretty on the black and white. Or I mean on the black. Hmm. Like that would look pretty. But then typically I would want to like put some on here, but I don't think it looks as good on the black and white. I mean on the black, I keep saying that on the black and white. I don't know why. Oh man. Oops, that was a lot of adhesive. <laughs> Got a little carried away there. <laughs> I don't know that it really adds that much. But I already did it, so so that's how that's happening. Okay, I mean, it's not horrible, but I don't know. I'm not in love with it. White sequence on the black, or maybe black sequence on the black. That might have looked pretty. Oh, maybe the black sequence would have been the right choice. Like that probably even would have looked better on there. So there's that. So then I just have this little strip and I wonder if we could do something with Bermuda Bay really quick since I really wanted to use that. Let's just see if we can. So let's, oh man, one of my sequins came off. I got to set this aside so it can dry. Okay. So let's cut this at four and a quarter. And then we'll need a piece of Whisper White for the inside. Any chance I get to use Bermuda Bay. Okay. We'll fold this. Oh, my desk's a mess now. Okay, let's put this in here. I have no idea about this card. I have no plan. I'm just winging it. Put this in here. Then I have this strip. So I'm thinking, let's cut this at five and a half. Okay. That could work. Let's take this I want like the thinnest strip. I'm gonna do this with black too. And we're gonna see what we like better. I gotta cut this black cardstock anyways. Okay, so then. Sorry, I'm off camera, guys. My desk is full now. Okay, so let's cut this at five and a half. Okay, so I'm going to try both of these. Okay, now I'm going to cut this with these dies. Okay, so let's use this one again. So I'm going to just cut this. Okay. So I'm just going over to my big shot. I 
I didn't have plans to do the second card, so I don't have anything ready. I'm just winging it. But why not? Okay. So we have this, which I think is perfect. Like, it's a perfect design. And then... I think we just need one. Okay. So now let's do that same thing sitting on the dock of the bay stamp set. It's really not called that. It's called by the dock, but I just want to sing that song every time. Okay. Let's attach this. And I'll just use my grid mat, put this on here. And then I was thinking this really thin strip could go right here for a little added color. Okay. Ooh, the lighting is changing. Like, I don't know, the sun went down or something, or the clouds moved in. Sort of got dark. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to use the black strip. The strip works great. Okay. So then we're going to have this. And so what I need... If this is going to go here, then we need the powder tool here. This will go here. Versa mark. I love this sentiment. Okay. Then let's do white again, and this time let's try to heat set the whole thing. I need my little paintbrush. Do you guys see it? Maybe I put it back. This, I always get impatient with this part of the crafty stuff. Like with heat embossing. I always get really, really impatient. Okay, so let's heat set this. Well, you guys, if you could see this desk. Okay. I know, right? The best cards sometimes are not planned. Well, that looks good. Where's the lid? Okay. Ooh, I just put this wipe right in my silver embossing powder because I didn't put the lid back on. Oh, that's because I dropped the lid. Okay, let's move that farther away. Okay, so let's pop this up. Sorry, I got to... Ah! 
Ow, I got distracted. I burnt myself with my heat tool. I got distracted by comments. Okay. Put that on there. Okay, and it looks like I managed to heat set all of that. And then let's add adhesive here. I don't know that I love that. Like, I don't know that I really... I'm totally digging like the placement of this, but and then I'm gonna add some wink of Stella. To all of this. And then I'm gonna grab my glossy accent. And put it here. Uh-oh, is it clogged? It sort of is. Dang, the bad luck. What do I have in here that I could unclog this with? Mm. I really should put something in there to keep that not clogged. There we go. Okay. So this will go on and it'll look cloudy, but then when it dries, it will be clear. So I'll have to be careful. So we'll put that there. And then let's use some black sequins on this one. So I'm pretty sure I have black. So let me put this. Oh yeah, right here. Okay. These are like tiny ones too. Should be enough. Okay. All right, so now I'll put a couple up here. You guys still see this? Ooh, that light is coming in weird. Those kids are up there in that refrigerator. And I told them, like I got them a snack. We had, we had lunch earlier and then I got them a snack before I started in on this video. And wouldn't you know, because I'm distracted, they're totally in that refrigerator. Oh good, I have like one more, that's gonna be perfect. Okay. And then the glue here will dry clear. I'm gonna use the glossy accents to stick that last one. Andrew, I'll be done in just a minute, okay? 
Okay, so you can see that it'll shimmer. Hey there. So we did this one here. I like the way this one turned out. I'm surprised. That was not even a plan. And then this one was the one I planned out. And I really think it would have been better with black sequins. So not, oh, here, I'll move them up so you guys can see them. My camera is a little higher than normal. There we go. So you guys can see them. I really like the way these turned out. So I used this stamp set, which I'm so glad that I had an opportunity to use that. And then I need to put together the Botanical Prints one too, because I haven't used that one yet. So I'm going to leave those stamp sets out for me to put together. And then I used these dies. So that was fun. And then we did some embossing. And it came out pretty good. The embossing held up pretty well. And I think white was the right choice. I don't think that the silver really would have given it that pop. So not bad. Two cards for the price of one today, you guys. And so I'll just empty my embossing powder back in here. This, the white embossing powder is not Stampin' Up. It is the um, Wow embossing powder. I'll show you guys. Let me get the lid back on here. And this is the super fine, bright white embossing powder. And I just find that, um, I don't know if they've changed it or not, but the Stampin' Up! white embossing powder was not embossing well. I really did not like the way it embossed. And then I just keep all my stuff in this snappy tray. I got it on Amazon a while ago. I recently looked for it um, to link it in a video and they didn't have it on Amazon anymore. I don't know if it was just out of stock at the time or what, but I just have this tray that I keep all of my, um, that kind of stuff in. And oops, I got powder kind of on this. There we go. So I love them. So thanks guys for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys are doing well. I think this sort of sparked some creativity and I think that I might um, create a little bit this evening and make some more stuff um, after I get my mess cleaned up. <laughs> I think I might do a little bit of creating. So if you're creating, I hope that you will share. Feel free to share um, here on my page if you want to send a photo or um, anything. I would love to see what we're all doing kind of in this time. And let me know what your favorite snacks are. I showed you guys some of my favorite snacks at the beginning of the video. So let me know what your favorites are. And I'll be live again hopefully tomorrow. So I'm trying to go live each day with you guys. Um, so hopefully tomorrow I'll have another project for you. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll chat with you later.